Hey up everyone, welcome back to Bob DJ. It's Charlie here again, and today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the differences between the Prime 4 and the flagship range from Den and DJ featuring the SC5000, SC5000M, and X1800 mixer. I'll be having a look at the advantages of both units and we'll work out what's the best one for you. Let's get into it. So first up, I'm gonna look at the X1800 mixer alongside the mixer section of the Prime 4. The most notable difference is the included sound cards and difference in sound quality between the two units. The X1800 includes a 24-bit, 96kHz digital sound card that delivers uncompromised audio quality. Prime 4, however, makes its most significant compromise by only including a 24-bit, 44.1kHz sound card. The price point of the Prime 4 is one of its most talked about features, which I'll touch on later. However, you do pay for quality, and the sound quality of the X1800 is second to none. Moving on to BPM effects. The effects section of both units show a significant difference between them, with both having advantages for different reasons. Firstly, the Prime 4 has two controller style effects units, and both can be assigned to either deck. This is a nice feature as you can stack effects and create some really interesting combinations. The one drawback, however, is you can only assign the FX units to an individual channel. Whereas on the X1800, you can assign it to individual channels, the master, crossfader, or even the mic. A few major features included on the X1800 which warrant its higher price tag are the FX frequency isolation pot and the touch strip, with included instant button for quick release effects. Really nice feature. Moving on to the sweep effects section, one of my favourite inclusions on the X1800 is the separate filter pot, allowing you to combine your filter with one of the other four included sweep effects. This is the only mixer in the world that includes this feature. On the Prime 4 there are no separate filter and sweep pots, and instead you lose one sweep effects gate as there's only four included and filter is one of these. Looking at the mic channels, a small point to go over but both systems include two mic channels. The Prime 4 excels here as both channels have individual EQ control and both mic channels have combi inputs featuring both jack and XLR. However, the X1800 only has one joint EQ for both mic channels with one combi input and one TRS input for mic 2. Well, moving on to the jog wheels and the deck section of the Prime 4. The most obvious difference between the two is the jog wheel size. Both Prime players have full-size jog wheels, with the SC5000M also featuring a motorised jog wheel at no extra cost. Perfect for the DJs who love vinyl but still want all the advantages of digital DJing without the use of a laptop. The Prime 4 features two 6-inch jog wheels, but they also include the on-jog displays that you see on the SC5000. It's a really nice touch and you can customise this to include any artwork, whether that's from the track or your own DJ alias artwork. A couple of minor plus points for the Prime 4. Firstly, it features dedicated beat grid adjust section. And secondly, the layout of the performance pads on the Prime 4. These are more of a traditional controller style that most DJs will be used to and on the Prime separate players they are just in one single line across the bottom of a unit. As I said it's a minor point but definitely a plus for the Prime 4. Something very exciting about the Prime 4 is that it will soon be fully Serato supported. I presume this will be with the next major Serato update. Although I don't have a date for this, I have been informed that it will be very soon. Until this happens though, there's not a lot we can say on this other than the fact that an all-in-one four-channel standalone DJ system that is also a four-channel Serato controller sounds incredible. The Prime 4 is geared towards mobile DJs and by offering DJs both standalone and controller options across four channels is something I'm very excited about. But looking at what we already know with the Prime series, it's incredibly easy to connect your laptop and use it with Serato in controller mode. You can control all four virtual decks from one player, if you dare, and scroll through your crates and smart crates which appear on the screen alongside the waveform and track information. Also the performance pads along the front of the player automatically map to Serato's pad modes. So there we have it everyone, thanks very much for checking out the video today, be sure to pop into any of our showrooms to check out any of the equipment you've seen today or click on the links below to find out more, thanks very much.